Oh, no, you didn't with Snow White. Mm -mm. You didn't go and flip everything and change it, did you? Mm -mm. So I guess it's a big update to Snow White. Who knew? I mean, what do you do when you have to panic? When you have so much bad press, you don't know what to do with it, and you're hoping that everybody just forgets about what happened and just moves on. Maybe we won't remember it a year, you know, March 2025, that Snow White was an absolute train wreck and Rachel Zegler is part of several huge bombs and no one likes her and she hates Snow White and all those other things. Maybe all of that will go away in precisely one and a half years from now. <laughs> That's right, friends. Rachel Zegler as Snow White in the new Seven Dwarfs. Now, what I want to do, I also have to speak out and represent all dwarf kind. Not <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Wait till I show you. You may have seen it on the cover of this of the thumbnail for this. But folks, we got to look at this. This is just absurd. What am I even looking at at this point? <laughs> like, are you seriously? You're trying to give us this after all the BS, after all those other, the other pictures of the seven Starbucks baristas. And you're going to, they're supposed to be magical creatures. Maybe woodland creatures, squirrels might be thrown. Now you're just going to CGI all of them as dwarves. But not really dwarves because they all sure as hell, not all of them, but three quarters of them sure seem taller than Snow White. Like, what is going on here? What? They hear the back. They're like, all right, back to the drawing board. Is this, is this an ugly tales or not ugly tales? Is this a ugly Sonic thing? Is that is that what they're doing to us here? I think they are. Let me see if I can find this for us. Just as a reminder, if you don't recall, the Sonic movie had a they had a Sonic that was unacceptable to the general audience. An ugly Sonic, I mean, you know. <laughs> they have why does Google have a section for memes oh <laughs> let's take a look <laughs> ugly Sonic they're ugly Sonicing it that's what they're doing to us they're they're doing ugly Sonic which was amazing in Chip and Dale uh, I don't want to look at this we don't care uh, how do I get rid of this I'm going to pull up bubble because I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's an ugly Sonic situation. Here we go. They want to manage my cookies. Get out of town here. Oh, my gosh. Look at them. Look at them yams. <clears throat> but what we have here is a uh, <laughs> it's an ugly Sonic situation. Look, <laughs> he's got teeth. And that's what they did. They were like. They listen to one person, Peter Dinklage, who was literally in it for himself. So if you don't recall that either, Peter Dinklage was saying things like, "I had, do I have to stand any taller on my platform so that they stop hiring dwarves? And then the entire dwarf community was like, bro, you're, you're killing our job opportunities. So uh, now Oompa Loompas are being played by non-vertically challenged people. And apparently the dwarves will not be played by dwarves. Where's the dwarven representation? I cannot think of anything worse than doubling down on this. Is Not only did you cave to the criticism, but then you double cave to the criticism because, first of all, first you cave to the criticism and listen to Peter Dinklage, who's just in it to get every dwarven role. He's literally going down the Johnny Depp Oompa Loompa path where he's like, they can make they can digitally recreate me so I can play every single dwarf ever and take all the jobs from all the dwarves. But instead they say, nah, let's go ahead and, and CGI all the dwarves. 
Let's just do it. Who cares? And Disney is, they put this image out. Not nobody else. This isn't CGI. This isn't like some random screen, like some random drone footage of some extras. This is what they put out. And uh, I just like, I can't believe it. And not only did they do that. So apparently you're going to get bashful, doc, dopey, grumpy, happy, sleepy, and sneezy. But you're not going to get them for a year and a half. Because here's the exact quote from Peter Dinklage. You're still making that effing backwards story about seven dwarves living in a cave together. What the F are you doing, man? Have I done nothing to advance the cause of for my soapbox? First of all, they don't live in a cave. They live in a house. They work in a cave because they mine for precious gems. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Disney responded to Dinklage's criticism. To avoid reinforcing stereotypes from the original animated film, we are taking a different approach with these seven characters and have been consulting members of the dwarfism community. We look forward to sharing more as the film heads into production after a lengthy development period. So then they made them... And then you get Rachel Zegler. This is all from Entertainment Weekly. This is a shill magazine telling you all these things. So you know there are problems. The reality is that the cartoon was made 85 years ago and therefore is extremely dated when it comes to the idea of women being in roles of power and what a woman is fit for in the world. Uh huh. <laughs> and so when we came to reimagining the actual role of Snow White, it became about the fairest of them all, meaning who is the most just and who can become a fantastic leader. Pretty sure no one's worried about any leadership in there, and the prince that saves her has zero character or character development so hmm gonna literally the dude i don't even know if he has any lines in the movie so everybody blew up on this and now they're just going <laughs> snow white is hits theaters march 21st 2025 which means they have to redo all of the the, the footage they've already done do you know how many hundreds of millions of dollars they've thrown into this thing? And it's, what a disaster. Are you, Do you stand up with the Dwarven community like I do and say there should be... These are plum roles for Dwarf actors. Like, these people all could have been rich and famous like Peter Dinklage. So seven more people, just like Warwick Davis, just like a handful, you know, just like we men, like, these people... They deserve roles just like anybody else. And when there's roles that they could be in, now you CGI'd them out. What a bunch of jerks. I hope you're happy, Rachel Zegler. I hope you're happy, Peter Dinklage, because you just took seven amazing jobs. These jobs could be life-changing for these people, but instead you gave them to rando people. I mean, I don't even understand. It's just unfortunate and sad. But let me know in the comments below, are you as agitated as I am? I mean, seriously, I'm not even kidding. Like, yes, I'm I'm trolling and making a little bit of a joke. But in reality, they took their gerbs. They took their gerbs. And that ain't fair. It really isn't. You know, I really feel bad for the people who could. It's, it would be like recasting all the hobbits. Or not all the hobbits. Like all the dwarves in... In um, Lord of the Rings, you know, and I do know. Look, I know Peter David. Who, who, uh, I know some of the people who played dwarves weren't dwarves, but this is like literally the most iconic role you could be. These people could be set for life. They could have like they could all become famous and have amazing lives. You, you basically hit the lottery if you could play one of Snow White's seven dwarves in the live action thing. Yet these ingrateful bastards don't take care of these people. So let me know what you think. In the meantime, we we have super chats. We're monetized. We have you can join us. Get your degree from our reviews will kill you. Check out our live podcast streaming Friday, 7 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. We're taking over. We're replacing your old education with a new orc education. Come and get some. But as for myself, I am on to the next one.